Hi, this is Paul with Equipped. I wanted to take a minute or two to talk to you about how to use the controls on a National Luna fridge. They're a little bit unique and looking at them straight off, there might be some confusion as to what's going on here, but it's pretty straightforward things here. And I, I just want to touch base on it. What we're looking at here is our, our most popular unit, which is the, uh, the Legacy Dual Control 50 liter fridge. It has a 40 liter zone and a 10 liter zone in it. So we have two controls that are independently controlled. So how do we make this fridge work for us? First of all, you hold the up arrow in for two seconds and it comes on. Initially, what you'll see is a pile of eights across all of the control there. It'll flash a couple things at you um, as it's doing its internal diagnostic. The fridge is set up um, that when it first receives power to it, um, when, you, when you turn it on, it goes through an internal diagnostic to make sure everything is okay. So it might not click on immediately. Sometimes that takes just a, a few seconds to get going here. When you give it a couple seconds, you'll end up coming up with a temperature uh, rating on the, on the fridge here. Now you have on two of the displays here, you have what the temperature is in Celsius in each one of those. Now my personal preference is I like to have my fridge section which is the left section in here. I like to have that at about two degrees Celsius, which is about 36 degrees Fahrenheit. So I hold the down arrow for uh, three seconds and it starts to flash at me, okay? This says right now that it's set at minus 10, which is pretty darn cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the up arrow until I get to two degrees Celsius, okay? It's gonna flash for a couple more seconds and once that stops flashing, what that means is that that section is now set at two degrees Celsius. It says it's at 15 right now, it's gonna cool down to two degrees Celsius here. My freezer side, I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna hold down that, that lower button uh, for temperature setting. It says right now that it's at one degree Celsius. I think that's a little bit high for me for my freezer section. I typically like to have my freezer section at about 10 degrees Celsius, which is, is pretty darn low uh, and is wonder, a, a good temperature for holding ice cream and, and ice and things that you put in there frozen at that temperature. You can go lower, that's for darn sure. Do you need to, I think is what I would say to you. The lower you go, the more your fridge is gonna to run to get to a temperature that might not be necessary to keep something frozen. I found that minus 10 is plenty fine for that. Other things that you see on this control here is up in the top left corner of any of the fridges on the line, you have here what they call battery protection. And I call these pain thresholds. And what it is, is the level of battery uh, voltage available to it uh, that the fridge will automatically turn itself off at. Okay, so they have it set here at high is 11.5, medium is 10.5, and low is 9.5, and they've even put low in red, and there's a good reason there. Um, in our battery systems, you could hook this fridge up to your main battery or an auxiliary battery or a lithium battery or whatever your choices might be. And as the battery consumption goes on, the voltage in those batteries slowly lower over time. Um, the 11.5 setting is a, a rather high setting. And um, that is typically used for when you have this fridge hooked up to the main battery in your vehicle and you wanna maintain enough current in that battery to start your vehicle and get home. Rule number one, get home. Right, So you've got to be able to start your vehicle. If you put it at 11.5, chances are you're going to have enough power uh, in that battery to start your vehicle and get home. One thing I want to talk about when we're talking about this is how the compressor uses energy uh, in the National Luna Fridge unit. When a fridge starts up, there is a bump of, of power needed higher than normal. It's called a bump start. And so the draw of energy goes up rather high. It, it's, it's a high startup to get the, get the compressor rolling, and then it lowers down and runs on a more common basis. 
how National Luna has set up their variable voltage um, compressor is that if the voltage is down below 13 volts available, it will modulate itself to run at roughly two and a half amps of, of current uh, over time. If the voltage available to it is above 13, it will run at four amps, run as fast as it can to cool down. Okay, with that in mind, what we need to think about here when we're talking about voltage and where these paint thresholds are is the bump start. When you have a, a high consumption spike to start that compressor, if your voltage is down a little bit and the spike to start that fridge goes up, uh, the demand is above what your battery will hold, the fridge won't run. So it might be that your, your battery is sitting at 11.6. Okay, that's just fine. The fridge will try to start and will require a higher bump to start and it won't stop. It'll just, it'll start to flash lights at you, triple eights saying that there's not enough battery to start that. Which it's doing its job because it doesn't want to use energy more than what you want it to use. Okay, so when you're running on a main battery, 11.5 is a great level to hold at. Uh, if you have an auxiliary battery system, I suggest going with the medium voltage. It's a 10.5 cutoff. So that'll typically cut off the battery if the battery's rest at a resting rate somewhere in the high tens to 11 volts. So the fridge will try to kick on. It'll try to pop up above that voltage availability and it'll shut itself down. Um, I've had these fridges in my, my vehicles for a dozen, 15 years now. That setting works out really well for an auxiliary battery management because the battery that you have as auxiliary is designed to go lower uh, in discharge than your main battery for starting your vehicle. You can go deeper with the discharge, get your vehicle going and recharge that battery. That's the function of an auxiliary battery is a, a long, slow, deep discharge. The 10 and a half uh, section is exactly what I use and I use it all the time. 9.5, the bottom one here, that is emergency situations. That is under circumstances that it's not just food going bad, but um, scenarios where medicine are involved, um, things that are of emergent use. Things have to be cooled and you might be in the circumstance, your vehicle's not running, you have somebody that has um, a medical situation where they have refrigerated uh, medicines necessary there. Going down to that 9.5 level, you really, really have a good chance of killing your battery, what you're hooked to, um, to a point that it won't return. But if it's a matter of the person being safe and the fridge battery going down, it makes no sense not to just kill the battery instead of the person. 9.5 is a very low emergency use setting, in my opinion. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be for anything else. Let your beer warm up if, if it's it. If you're getting down to that, it'll be okay. When you get going again, it'll be just fine. So on a main battery, 11.5. On an auxiliary battery system, 10.5 is a really good setting. Emergency situations where you really need that fridge to run, go down into that 9.5 area. Okay, over here in this next corner here, this is what they call speed control. And they have a little button that says turbo. Now, um, what they mean by that is that uh, the fridge, when it's hooked into uh, uh, alternating current voltages, 110 volt and up, the fridge knows that that's the power available to it. It converts that power into 12 volts and runs the machine. But what it does is it runs the machine at just flat out as, as fast as it can get there, the highest amperature, amperage it can, cooling as fast as it can, uh, because it has endless power. It's hooked up to the alternating current grid and, and knows that it has that constant power. If the battery or if the fridge is hooked up to DC power, fridge knows that as well, and it modulates between that four amp and the, uh, the two and a half amp that I talked about. But what you can do in a 12 volt application is if you need something to cool down incredibly fast at just flat out, you don't want the fridge to think about it, you just want the fridge to cool down. <clears throat> That's where you hit the turbo mode 
that overrides the whole process uh, for the fridge to run at a cooler temperature. It will run at that cooler temperature until it hits the temperature that you ask. So that gives you an idea about the, uh, the, the management of the front control of this fridge. If you have any questions, reach out to us. We'd be happy to help at any time. Thanks.